Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And we got Portia and that horrible picture of Portia, I guess, because... It don't need to be there. I keep telling Simon to take that picture down. But uh, it seems like Saturday, um, Portia or Simon had filmed this on their Instagram account. And they were just trying to show the masses what Simon did. Don't know why. We try to make, make sense out of this. But they love to keep posting. And I have material that i can cover when they keep posting it okay but i thought more there would be more flowers that simon would have came off and, and bought but you know i guess that's what we get for thinking instead of just you know looking at it for what it is and it just being what it is okay but portia thought all of these flowers were for her but I was like, okay, who we got as mothers over there? We have Portia. We have Portia's mama, Diane. We have Portia's grandmother. And I guess Darlene. Those would be the four. Or did he get one for Lauren? Or did he forget Lauren? Because when I was counting them, I only saw four vases of flowers. So I'm like, well, maybe the grandmama ain't getting none. And maybe it's Lauren, meaning her sister, Diane, Portia, and who else would it be, guys? Let me see. Diane, Portia, her sister, and Darlene. Shit, I don't know who the flower's going for, but I know it's Diane, it's Diane's mother, it's Darlene, it's Portia, and it's Lauren. So those are five women. That he should have been getting flowers for. And of course he's giving us a little tour. Of his hallway. Maybe we'll make it upstairs. Next month or so. Because he just keeps showing. It like an open house. Type of deal. You know first we were getting the cars on the outside. And then we got a little bit of the. The dining room. Not dining room but living room area. Sitting room and then you know. That's what a car was. But that's what a delivery man just called himself. Delivering flowers to Portia. And she's taking them to the table. And Father Time is filming in the background. Like he didn't know. That she was going to go to the door. And you know be well received. With all these flowers coming in. But I'm like. I remember seeing something when her and Dennis was together. Man, he he made the room come alive. It was just flowers galore. But okay, Simon so trying to watch his coin here and there. Because we really don't know what he does. But we're not talking about that centerpiece flower. That's the white one. The only thing I saw was just four vases. You know, when I counted them. I don't know if y'all can count them of how I uh, took the pictures. Uh, but that must be a picture of Portia. He trying to give us the white version of Portia up there. But it's horrific. I wish you take it down. Put something else up there. Put some pictures on them walls. They look bare. Put a rug up there. You know, one of those rugs. Um, Society 6 makes uh, uh, beautiful ones. And I have one. So, I know you can put some up on that wall. If you want to put them up. Put pictures, put a rug up there. Put a rug up there on that wall. And then you'll really be hitting it. But that's just my point and my viewpoints of how he should do this. Uh, but, you know. Each to his own, but he needs um, that four year up there or that he needs a flower up there or, or, or something. It's kind of bare. Uh, we need a house that is being made to live in, okay, not to be like an archive or a museum. And I was so glad I caught uh, something where PJ had was just playing in there. And I said, okay, okay, he must be trying to open it up to the family as well uh, to have some scenery of PJ playing over there or her presence is there because we see her little toys here and there but it just seems like 
he just wants a house that's just perfect and, and nothing is out of place and this that like that's not a real house that's not a lived in house i need you to do better for all the time i need you to do better you need to have the house where it's inviting where it's playful where it can show it's loved and it's lived in you see what i'm saying you can't have this artsy fartsy type mess like you only there for the weekend and then you come back and and then go it, this is not no bed and breakfast type of living is what i'm trying to say this is not like that this is a home a home should be lived in and you should know that kids are there because you have kids both you and portia all right so we need to some, see some living in their house so like damn i'm in the house i feel the love i feel the kids the kids running all around they playing they, you know they're doing their thing we got the grown-ups you know losing their hair and, and all that kind of stuff of course she is kind of losing her hair on them edges so of course you need to get that together come out the weed come out the weeds come all about that that fakery fault shit okay and as far as i'm gonna go because it's you know it's mother's day you can't get on her too bad but you look like you lose some hair some hair portion around the edges okay you look like you're losing some hair and we need you to straighten it up don't camouflage with all that little uh band bandana wrap around there no you need to stop wearing this i don't understand why you wear it okay for one i know you it's your product you gotta sell it but you ain't gotta wear it all the time you don't have to wear it all the time okay it's not necessary but it's just like an accessory. You pull it off just like you pull off your drawers, your, your, your panties, your clothes, okay? Give it a rest. Give it a break. Show your natural sometime. My Lord. But anyway, if you want to go out there and have to be like Marlo and get an implant, so be you. You got the money. You got the man with the money. But that's what's trending today. We got Portia showing off like she normally do that her uh, glorified boyfriend bought her flowers of course she mistakenly thought they were all for her and he had to say no baby they're not all for you okay and she laughed she chuckled here and there but she was like mad as hell probably like, why aren't they for me okay but anyway Portia, we know you ain't gonna keep you don't stay at home long enough to water no plants no no flowers for them to continuously grow and grow bigger and you have to put them in and plant them in another vase or a, a base setting okay you don't stay uh long enough like that flower you got us to interpret what it was which i will put in another video but it was a little green repair house plant and she trying to figure out what it was shouldn't you have asked the people that you bought the plant from what it was portia damn make it make sense and while i'm saying that y'all can go over to my other channel i would definitely include the link so y'all can go over there and definitely if you have subscribed to this channel or the new one or my backup one please do so okay and, and put the notification bell on so you'll know when i drop down a video for y'all to partake it's your key key to laugh on and go to bed okay we're going to work or going going wherever you're going okay but yeah that is one damn ugly pitch i can't ah oh, i wish you take it down simon take the picture down it's not doing anything with scaring people because every time i look at it i'm thinking about portia she don't win mad or something okay she don't want mad so i'm like is that the version the white version of portia we don't like it we don't need it and we know she black so you need to have some black art up in there like i told you you're doing well at one point in time now i don't know what you're doing you're just mismatching all this shit together and it ain't, it ain't looking right okay it's not looking right so i need you to get it together uh change that picture you can even change that bitch that uh beach picture too i don't like that it's not giving it's not giving me nothing but you know like a shipwreck or, or i'm lost at the sea or something oh you got too many colors going on but they're matching the red didn't do too much it makes it pop out a little bit but i don't know where we're going with it i mean get some interior decoration over there get get an interior decorator because you're just putting too much okay you started off fine now i don't know what you're doing okay we need you to uh, make it make sense over here, all right? And poor seem like your uh, foot's a little ashy, baby. You calling Kenya's foot ashy, but look like yours a little ashy. Don't come on camera and be looking like this now, baby. Don't don't do that, okay? You know you're a public figure. That's what you have on your Instagram account. So you need to look together every time you step up and step out, okay? Because we know we need you to show up and show out. Because right now you ain't doing them showing me. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're giving me. Homelessness at this point because Kenya Burris is blazing on them streets girl she's showing up and showing out and damn putting the money in the bank where it counts girl and you going out here partying and stuff y'all catch that last video I dropped then you understand what I'm, where I'm going from where I'm coming to where the hell is PJ at anyway she should be running around in her uh, night clothes as well getting her a pancake or two oh you only do that for school days what's going on she ain't with you she with Dennis now 
Oh, well, she should be with you because it's Mother's Day. But uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, Maybe she wanted his mama to have a little bit of PJ too, Miss Gina. So, Miss Gina, happy Mother's Day too. I forgot you in that video I did earlier about wishing everybody happy Mother's Day. But, Mama Gina, it, it was charged to my head, not my heart, baby. Happy Mother's Day to you, love. Happy Mother's Day to Mama Gina out there. All right, and then we can give Mama Diane a shout out too. Mama Diane, uh, happy Mother's Day too. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And tell Portia what whatever plant she was asking us about on her social media, she should have been asking you. Do you know what plant it is that she got up there that looked like the plant is dying and she need to water it, put some food in there for the plant to grow? What's wrong with your daughter? But anyway, it's Mother's Day, but it's going to be, it's Mother's Day every day, so I can get on Portia anytime I feel like it, pretty much, okay? We, we're going to get on her every time we feel like it. And right now, she's just acting piss poor, thinking all those flowers were for her. Okay? And he should have got you some tulips. Tulips are nice flowers, too. Roses are, that's just an everyday occurrence thing. You know what I'm saying? We need some daffodils. We need something out there. Some dan dandelions. Tell him. T you know, he want to do, uh, he want to uh, sport our flowers. He need to know about it. Tell him to ed educate himself. Instead of about educating yourself in the finer things of cigars and cars. You need to be doing some interior decorating over there too. Because I'm still not seeing black art. Okay. He's a black Liberian man. I don't know. An African Nigerian man. You know. He needs to represent his culture. Okay. And other people too. Because he's over there wearing a poncho y'all. The man is over there wearing a poncho. No that's total disrespect to the Mexican uh, community. That's just like uh, Asians or Mexicans putting on some kente cloth. You know what I'm saying. Some kente cloth. And we asked them what the hell they doing. Cause, cause they, they really looking like a damn fool. All right. It gave me a little chuck when I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. What the hell is Simon doing with that big ass poncho on? <laughs> Ooh, that man just gives me a chuckle. He may be mad sometimes. But then I'll be looking at him because I'm getting a picture in my mind. I might do a video on that too. It might come shortly after this video. Cause I don't know why the man was disrespecting the Indian population. Okay. The Native American people. You know, just like you, you go to the Braves game. They don't want you doing that tomahawk chop. That hoo, you, no, that's a chant that they use solely for their Native American people. Okay, you messing with the coast. They didn't like the, uh, the tomahawk chop. They ain't even like uh, the automobile people uh, making a Cherokee jeep. You see what I'm saying? It's disrespectful. And then you're not giving back to the community of the Native Americans. That's piss poor. And you see, Simon, you went to school. You went to school to be an accountant, but you had to take them foundation courses. You had to take the reading, the uh, math, the science. And all that stuff. Then you had to take culture diversity classes. Okay. And I'm sure they told you. When you were taking one of them classes. Before you got your degree in, count in accounting. That you're not supposed to be infringing on somebody else's culture. Their diversity. And their ethnic background. And you sitting up here in a poncho. It's totally disrespectful. But like I said. That was another video. I'm ranting. But y'all enjoy this video. I will see you next time. Because you know I'm going to get on Simon's ass. I'm going to get on his ass right now. And then I'm coming for Candy. Candy's behind too. Because she don't piss me off as well. But I may do the Candy video before I get on that poncho that Simon was uh, wearing. But it just depends on how I want to spin it. And which one going to take longer. Okay. Because I, when I get long minute, I get mad. Then I have to be dropping gems. Okay. But uh, yeah. Y'all like this video. Portia thought she was getting all the flowers. But her boyfriend had to tell her no babe. But it's not all for you. Okay. You're not the only, you're not the only mother that uh, is represented in this family. And then I want to say you know. Did you ask Larry before you bought Mama Diane some flowers? Did you ask Larry? Because it seems like you, you're really going overboard here, Simon. You, you're going out there taking Mama Diane shopping along with uh, Portia and, and baby girl PJ. Then, you know, you're going out eating lunch with them. I'm sure you paid for it and stuff of that nature. Now you're buying flowers on Mother's Day. I don't know. I might be, be, be stretching a little bit. I might be reaching a little bit. But I think, you know, since, the, since Diane do have a man... Shouldn't he be buying his woman flowers and not you, Simon? I think you're doing a little bit too much, Simon. Or you you giving me a little shade that you might be liking Diane, too. Or you trying to do both of them at the same damn time. I just want to know, Simon. Just, no, you could be, it's just between you and I. And you know I ain't going to keep it a secret because I'm going to tell everybody in my family. I sure am. But I just want to know. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Do you like Diane? Push your mama too. I just want to know, girl. I just want to know, son. But anyway, that's all I have. I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.